Okay, this is the main service disconnect. It should be labeled as being a main service disconnect. Our power, utility, mast, supply, conduit, the weather head should have been extended above the roof line. After the main principle, these are all considered second panels. These boxes, the meter box, main principle box, this cabinet, should all be sealed on three sides to help moisture infiltration from getting into the wall. The bonding location is inside the garage southeast corner closet on the main water supply where the main water shutoff valve is. That should be labeled in here. The uh, electrician had to go on a treasure hunt to find where the bonding was. Uh, a plumber would have to go on a treasure hunt to find out where the main water shutoff valve is. It'd probably have to do it at the meter. So come in here. L1 and L2 should have non-conductive covers on them to protect people from touching them. This becomes a second panel. Our grounding and our neutrals are bonded in the main everywhere else down the line that's here should be separated okay that's the main do we have two mains is that what we've got we got two mains this is okay I can't tell it doesn't look like we got two mains because look there's only two breakers in here that are that are being operated it probably goes to the swimming pool equipment I can't tell so this doesn't look like a, a main panel to me. So this electrician is going to tell us whether we need to take that bar off or not. But it looks like that bar should have been removed. We've got a second panel. Okay, that was the second panel. We've got a third panel. And then we've got a fourth panel upstairs. We've got a fourth panel upstairs. Lots of panels. This one looks pretty straight. Now, tomorrow these are going to re be required to have the covers like on the main but today they're not so by today's standards what are we looking at we got electric cables they're too close to the cabinet cover electric cables are too close to the cabinet cover and this is on all three because you're going to have two videos okay this is on all three this is handwriting this is printing okay the manufacturer the international residential code the International Fire Code, the International Electrical Code, everybody. I didn't just wake up this morning wondering how I was going to piss everybody off. I did not do that. Okay, see what it says GE Power Mark? That's printing. This should be printing. Is that going to affect the way this cabinet works? No. No, it's not. You ever going to have a problem with it because it was labeled like that? I don't know. You know, that's, that's up to you. Was it done right? No. Did they follow instructions? No. Is that a code infraction? Actually, there is a code written up for that. So, yeah. Now, we're going to go do another video for the second, third, for the fourth cabinet.